Let me tell you, Alex. Uh, yeah, let's let's take a look at the route optimizer and the maps, and so you're going to work with some data for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is for tomorrow, okay. or for Friday. So. so you pulled down that particular tech and then went to the route optimizer. Yep. Okay, and that's the route the way they've got it configured now. Correct. And then I just do optimize route. I want him to start from here. Um, I just hit calculate. Okay, do you find you change the times quite often on this? Like, does it take a long, a long time? Is that what you said? I'm saying, I'm saying now you've got a seven, eight, nine, and 11, and a 10 over here on the bottom. Are you finding you're gonna change your times quite often? Yes, okay. yeah, I do change the time every time, basically. Okay. That's why I do the route optimizer, so. So now you're gonna. Just go through, so Davis South working his way back up north. And then, okay, so that changed that guy from a two hour time to an hour of drive time, basically, what it looked like to me down at the bottom. The Pretty nine, much. yeah, okay, that's good, that's very, very good. Okay, can you show me something about the maps, how you deal with the maps as well? Yeah, so let's see if I have a new one. Okay. This is an open work order. You're trying to figure out where to send, uh, who to send it to and when, right? Yes, so I'm gonna go in this, this particular one that was a placeholder. So let me go into one that the actual job. Reset, reopen it. Okay. I go over here to the map. Zone. And I always so, double check to make sure that it's their correct place, mm -hmm. like it's on Glen Wild Drive. So you, your grid now has all the, the jobs for, in that zone for uh, what time right. frame? It's 4 and 31 records, so that's a big time frame. Yes, right. So that is all of our records, open, non-open, in work order management currently. Right. So I always go down and say I want it to be between these dates, and then only the assigned work orders. And okay, that's that down, to head down to 98 records. So you got 98 records in that zone between that, that two week span, yep. right? Yep. Okay. And are you gonna append all of those or are you gonna filter it down more? You're going all the way? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do that because uh, the only way that it would work is if I could uh, like append out the service text, but mm -hmm. that's kind of not like how it works currently. So I just leave them in there. All right, can talk about that. That this makes takes, sense. This takes a while to put 98 pins on the map. Yeah, it, it will do it though, it's done it before. That one out there in our Okay. Here's the guy we're looking at. And here I see one that's right next door, basically. So I'm gonna go to the calendar. Look at the 16th. And in this case, he doesn't have room on his schedule, but if he did, I'd be like, great, put it right there with him. It's right next door. Okay. Works out. 
if you want to just go back and um, book them for the 16th, just like you could, and then you can pull it back if you would. Okay. Okay, you just book it right here. That's okay. You do it out of work order management. You don't book it at, at the map level. No, okay. I've never tried that. I guess I probably could, but. All right, well, we need to look at that. We'll make that modify schedule hot. Well, that brought up your quick assign. So that's all good. That's what I wanted to see. So, okay, Alex. All right. Um, Okay, Alex, thanks. Yeah, that's our uh, uh, quick overview of our route optimizer and also how we utilize the map function to find a particular work order and hopefully schedule it efficiently in Service Pros. If you want any more information on it, don't hesitate to give us a call or drop us an email and we'll uh, give you an overview on that as well. 386-547-3930. ServicePros.net. Thanks.